are going to learn how to do Naukasana, the fourth pose. Naukasana comprises of two words. One is Nauka and Asana. Nauka means the boat, Asana means yoga pose. Since this Asana looks like a boat, hence the name is Naukasana. So if you want to see more video in the YouTube channel, please do not forget to subscribe my channel, like, comment and share and press the bell icon. So let's start Naukasana, the boat pose. So let's see what are the benefits of this Asana. It tones and strengthens our abdominal muscles. It improves digestion and balance. It stretches the arm stream and strengthens our hip and spine flexors. So let's see what are the precautions of this asana. If you have high blood pressure, heart disease, migraine or hip injury or back injury, you should avoid this asana. Or while having asthma, you can skip this asana. No asana. The boat pose. First, lie down on a mat with your feet together and arms on the sides. Keep your arms straight and your fingers outstretched towards your toes. Now, start inhaling and as you exhale, lift your chest and feet off the ground, stretching your arms towards your feet. Let the weight of your body rest entirely on the buttocks. Make sure your eyes, fingers and toes are all in one line. Hold your breath and remain in this position for a few seconds. To release this asana, now exhale slowly as you bring the body down to the starting position and relax. Relax. 